Here we go, last section, chapter 8, projectile motion using parametric equations. So we're going to try to express two equations using a third variable, which is time. We want to talk about horizontal and vertical motion in terms of time. So we're going to launch a cow. The cow is going to go to the right horizontally, and it's going to go up vertically. So we'd like to be able to express that. So we talk about the cow got launched with some velocity v at some angle theta. The horizontal velocity would be v cosine. There's the reason why, if you say cosine equals the adjacent over hypotenuse, that's what it looks like. We play the same game to talk about the vertical velocity. And vertical velocity would be v, v sine theta. Horizontal would be v cosine. If we want to talk about the distance traveled, well, distance is rate times time, so it should be the horizontal velocity times time. The vertical distance has to account for gravity, so we have the 1 half gt squared on the end. t is time, v is initial velocity, g is acceleration of gravity. Let's look at one of the examples on the back. Let's start with one. They say a soccer ball is kicked at 39 feet per second at a 44 degree angle. They would like to know the vertical velocity and the horizontal. Let's do the horizontal first. It's up top and the vertical is below. I'll skip to five. They shoot a rocket at 80 feet per second at 80 degrees. First question just asks for the parametric equations. And those are just plugging in the numbers. Second one says, hey, when is it 10 feet horizontally? So plug it in, 10 feet, and solve for t. And use that time in part b when it says how high is it at that time. 